Well, hello again, and welcome to part five of the Crossing Tour Marathon. And now we are here at Oak Street, which is a pretty uh, well-known crossing. This crossing actually used to be a train station way back in the day when there were passenger trains rolling through here. Uh, but now it is a pretty nice spot for rail fanning. You got uh, plentiful parking, got one lot here, then you got two lots pretty much in the middle of the crossing by the NS tracks. So yeah, uh, pretty cool crossing. As you can tell, every signal has a cantilever. It also has a traffic signal uh, preamp that works most of the time. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So we're starting on the shoreline side. And once again, uh, this crossing is owned by the CN Shoreline, the CN Flat Rock, and the NS Detroit Line. So we're gonna start with the shoreline. This has a Siemens cantilever with a Rayco box. And here's the blue tag. The dot number for the shoreline is 8675888U. And then for the lights, we have two pairs of 12 by 24 inch uh, GE Uniform LED Safe Trans. As you can tell, the front pair is on the cantilever, the back pair is on the gate mast, both Safe Tran light brackets. And the lights up on the cantilever are the same as these 12 by 24 inch uh, GE Uniform LEDs, also on a Safe Tran light bracket, most likely. This is the newest signal here at this crossing. And then the bell, uh, this signal is a low pitch Siemens E bell. And then, oh, oh I can't forget the gate. Uh, it's a Siemens uh, gate mechanism. And then we have uh, LED gate lights and a wind guard. If you look down the track, you can see the block signals now right over right. We just had two trains go through on this track. Now both of them are pretty short. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and cross the street to the CN Shoreline gateless cantilever. And the cantilever is a Harman cantilever, emergency blue tag again. Then we have two pairs of Safe Tran 12 by 24 inch dial light LEDs for the, the main lights. Then the lights upon the cantilever, this is gonna be not a good shot because of the sun, but oh well. The front pair of cantilever lights are actually Safe Tran incandescent lights, and the back pair of the dial light LEDs on a Safe Tran light bracket, I can see up there. Then the bell on this signal is a low pitched uh, Safe Tran Type 3 E bell. All right, that's the shoreline sub. We're gonna move on to the Conroe crossings, which these were also installed uh, pretty recently. Uh, 2017, I believe, or 2018. Tw between 2016 and 2018, these new uh, cantilevers were installed and the old ones were knocked down, or just removed, not knocked down. But we have another Siemens cantilever with a Rayco box. The dot number for Conroe's crossings here is 511642A. We got two pairs of uh, Safe Tran 12 by 20 inch GE uniform LEDs on a Safe Tran light bracket. Cantilever lights are the same. And this, uh, the bell on this signal is a fourth gen uh, WCH mechanical bell. Uh, it's pretty cool that uh, they decided to bring some mechanical bells back to this crossing because at one point it was really all just general signals type two bells. So it's like E bell chaos, as uh, some of my friends call it. But yeah, it is very nice that they brought back some mechanical bells when they put in these new cantilevers. Alright. Sorry if the shots of me crossing the road are bad. I'm like making sure I'm not gonna get hit instead of looking at my camera. Alright, Conrail single number two. Once again, another Siemens cantilever with a Rayco base or box, not base. And then we have two more pairs of 12 by 20 inch uh, GE Uniform LED Safe Trans. Same with the lights up on the cantilever. Sitting on Safe Tran light brackets. Another WCH Mechanical Bell, fourth generation. Okay, now this signal we're just gonna do from this side. Um, it's another Siemens cantilever with a little Rayco box. Three pairs of uh, 12 by 20 inch GE Uniform LEDs on Safe Tran light brackets. That's the same for the cantilever lights. And another uh, WCH Mechanical Bell fourth generation. And for the final Conrail signal, you guessed it, the Siemens cantilever. And a uh, Rayco box, which you can see here. Another Rayco box, 12 by 20 uh, GE Uniform LEDs, Safe Trans, a Safe Trans light bracket, same thing up there. 
and another mechanical bell, a WCH 4th gen. And I forgot to mention the middle two signals uh, do not have blue tags, but the outer two do. Uh, that's what Conrail just decided to do. For all the quad track crossings, only have the outer signals, as I mentioned in my Sibley Road video. All right, but that is the Conrail crossings. And now we're gonna move on to the scene in Flat Rock, which is kind of separated a little bit from the other three tracks at this crossing, uh, but they're still on the same, they're still wired to uh, operate for a train on any of the tracks. Which I guess now would be a good time to mention that this crossing is wired way incorrectly. So the con basically all the signals here activate no matter what. Uh, the Conrail signals will activate no matter what, front and back lights. The secondary lights on the, uh, on the CN signals, they are wired correctly, but yeah, and as the Conrail signals, they activate no matter what, even if the train is on CN tracks, which again is wired pretty uh, wrong. And it's been like that for as long as I can remember, even when the older signals are wired. All right, we're gonna cross the street now and head to the CN flat rock. Now this is where, um, this might be my favorite part of Oak Street because we have some original equipment still here. start off with the gateless cantilever. Now this is a Wabco cantilever. Here is the blue tag and the dot number for flat rock sub is 258093M. Then we have two pairs of Safetran Dialyte LEDs, 12 by 24 inch. And then we have one pair of Safetran 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights for the side lights, which just point at this little parking lot right here. <coughs> The signal is a safe tran, no, 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 a Siemens low pitched E bell. Then the cantilever lights, the front pair is uh, 12 by 24 inch uh, safe tran incandescent lights, and the back ones are safe tran 12 by 24 inch dial light LEDs. That's the flat rock uh, gateless cantilever. Now we're going to move on to the final signal of this crossing, which is the flat rock gated cantilever. All right, and for the last signal, this has another Wabco cantilever. Uh, pretty cool to see. My camera wants to zoom in. I guess I'll do it myself. Wabco cantilever. Where to see blue tag? Then the uh, the lower lights are two pairs of 12 by 24 inch dial LED safe trans on a safe tran light bracket. Then the overhead lights. There are two pairs of uh, 12 by 20 inch. Or, no, 12 by 24 inch uh, incandescent safe trans on a safe tran light bracket. The bell up on this signal is actually a high pitched uh, Siemens E bell. Yeah, my camera does not want to zoom in, but oh well. That's a high pitched Siemens bell up there. Uh, replacing a general signals type 2 that used to be here. Then the gate mast is a Siemens base and a safe tran gate mechanism. Then we have LED gate lights up on the gate. All right, and now one thing before I end the video, uh, while these secondary lights on both sides of the crossing are, you know, they're wired to stay off if the train's not on that track, um, something that is kind of funny here is no matter what track the train is on, let's say there's a train on the NS southbound, um, what happens when the Conrail signal shut off is on both sides, the CN shoreline and the CN flat rock, the secondary lights actually flash while the gates are going up, which is, you know, weird, but, uh, yeah, they do that. Even if the train is a, if the train is on Flat Rock, then the secondary lights just stay on as the gates are rising. Then the secondary lights down on the shoreline uh, will come on as the gates are going up. And then one other thing, um, when there is a train on one of the CN tracks, uh, obviously the NS signals will activate, even though that's wrong, or the Conrail signals, I should say. The Conrail signals activate, but then what happens is when the train clears and the gates go up, the Conrail signals stay on until the flat rock gate gets all the way up. Same for the shoreline. Then when train the train's on one of the NS lines, the middle flashers, the middle Conrail signals, they shut off right when the train clears the circuit. So um, yeah, it's a bit weird. This crossing is wired way incorrectly, but um, I honestly kind of like it because then what you got is you got you know a mix of Siemens low pitched, safe train type three, mechanical bells, high pitched Siemens over here. You just got, you know, eight different bells ringing at the same time for one train and then like all these lights flashing too so i kind of like how it's wired but yeah thank you all for watching this tour of oak street in wyandotte michigan 
Next up is Vinewood Avenue. I, oh, now it's gonna let me zoom in. Interesting. Next up is Vinewood Avenue, which you can see right down there. See you guys there.